Hi, today we have two whiskey samples, out of which one is genuine and the other one is an adulterated whiskey. Now we don't exactly know which one's which until we test both of them on our sensors. We also have a whiskey buffer solution that we use to dilute the whiskies in order to test them. We will be using our SPCE sensors to test the whiskey. Now I'll insert the sensor into the connector, making sure that the contacts are correctly aligned. Now I'm going to wet the sensor surface with a buffer to allow the sensor to stabilize. Whilst the sensor is stabilizing, let's prepare the sample for testing. To begin with, I prepare 40 microliters of the whiskey buffer solution into a small falcon tube. Then I prepared 40 microliters of the whiskey sample into the same falcon tube. Now, in order to homogenize the solution, I vortex it. Using a piece of blotting paper, I carefully wick off the buffer solution, making sure not to touch any of the electrodes. Once that's done, we can prepare 40 microliters of our prepared sample onto the sensor surface. Once all the electrodes are covered in the sample, we can then start the electrochemical measurement. Now, on a new sensor, I add the same buffer solution to allow the sensor to stabilize. While that's happening, we prepare our second sample with the similar procedure we followed last time. We prepare 40 microliters of the whiskey buff solution into a small falcon tube. Followed by 40 microliters of the second whiskey sample. Similar to last time, we vortex it to homogenize the solution. And we carefully wick off all the buffer on the sensor surface. Then we prepare 40 microliters of the second sample onto the sensor surface. And then, after making sure all the electrodes are covered, we can start the electrochemical measurement. Once the data has been collected, we can simply open the data file from the respective potential stats software in a whiskey analysis software. The software will then tell us if the whiskey is authentic or not. In this case, sample 2 is the authentic whiskey, whereas sample 1 was adulterated.